AutoCAD 2010 works primarily with the ribbon interface at the top of the screen. However, Autodesk always provide legacy user interfaces. So, for example, those of you that are used to the icon toolbars in versions of AutoCAD up to AutoCAD 2008, for example, that is still available to you in your AutoCAD Classic workspace. So, down to the bottom of the screen here on the status bar, hover over 2D drafting and annotation there, and you'll see the workspace switching tooltip. Click on 2D drafting and annotation and you'll see that it brings up your shortcut menu showing you all of your workspaces. So we go to AutoCAD Classic and as you can see it loads up that workspace with all the toolbars and the icons for you. It also loads up the tool palettes window. I'm going to cover tool palettes later in this course so we'll close that off for now. We don't need that. So click on the cross and that will close the tool palettes window. Now we're back now to our old and more than likely well-loved AutoCAD Classic interface, our workspace. Now you'll notice there are tools here that come through from AutoCAD 2010 at the top of the screen. You've still got your application menu here. That still exists in the AutoCAD Classic workspace. The quick access toolbar is still there, available to you at the top of the screen there as well. You'll also notice up here all the help functions are available to you and the search functions. So they still come through from AutoCAD 2010. However, we still have our legacy workspace here, our AutoCAD Classic workspace, with our icons and our icon toolbars. Now, one thing you will notice, the toolbars look different. They also looked different in AutoCAD 2009 in the AutoCAD Classic workspace, because you don't have a title bar at the top of the toolbar anymore. You'll notice on this rogue toolbar here, there's no actual title telling you what it is. So what you do, you hover over the left-hand end and a tooltip will appear telling me that that is the Smooth Mesh Toolbar. Now to close it is just like any other toolbar. You click on the cross there on the right-hand end and that goes away. Okay. Now the reason I hovered over the left-hand end there of that toolbar was so that I didn't click by accident on the cross and close it before I identified it. You can hover over either end of the toolbar and the tooltip will tell you what toolbar it is. Now I've got my AutoCAD Classic default settings here. So I've got my Draw toolbar on the left. I've got my Modify and Draw Order toolbar on the right. I've got my Standard toolbar at the top. I've got my Workspaces here, you'll notice, on the pull-down menu on the Workspace toolbar there. And what you'll also notice, I've got my Layer pull-down here. And it's exactly the same as older versions of AutoCAD. Now, what I've also got here, though, is if I right-click, I've still got the option of right-clicking over an icon on a toolbar, and it gives me a list of all the toolbars that are available to me. I'm going to scroll down that list and click on the little triangle at the bottom here, because I want my Zoom toolbar, that one there. So my Zoom toolbar appears, and it's docked it automatically here, top left. And it's just like older versions of AutoCAD. I click on the edge of the toolbar here and drag into the screen area here, into the drawing area. And there it is. There is my floating zoom toolbar. And again, to reposition toolbars, it's a left click and a drag like so. So I reposition my standard toolbar at the top of the screen where the zoom toolbar auto docked at the top. So you'll notice there I can move that around. I can dock it, you'll notice, it highlights and ghosts, just like it did in previous versions of AutoCAD, you'll notice. So I've docked that there, top left, underneath my Workspaces toolbar. So you can see that it works in exactly the same way as previous versions of AutoCAD. You can see there that I don't have to worry about what version of AutoCAD I'm using, I can still use the interface that I am comfortable with. Now the other thing you can do is you can lock down this icon and toolbar arrangement. See the little padlock here at the bottom of the screen? If I right click over that, I can actually lock everything. So I can say, right, I want everything locked. And now, if I click and drag, you'll notice it won't let me move the toolbars. I then have to right click over the padlock again and select all and unlocked. And you can see there now that I can drag and drop my zoom toolbar again. You can do that with floating toolbars, dock toolbars, and so on. I'm not going to go into the detail there. I'll leave that for you to decide on how you want to set up your AutoCAD user interface. So I'm going to close the Zoom toolbar now, and I'm going to go down to Workspace Switching again here, and go back to 2D Drafting and Annotation, 
and that's how easy it is to change your workspace and your toolbar environment in AutoCAD 2010.